from freshly shucked oysters in Tasmania to spearfishing for barramundi in Arnhem Land and fly fishing for trout in Western Australia. There's an abundance of fresh, pure and prime quality seafood all across Australia. The Harbour City Sydney offers some of the freshest seafood in Australia. Visit the Sydney Fish Market to watch oysters freshly shucked at. And enjoy a fresh seafood platter cooked to order. You can join a fun hands-on cooking class with some of Australia's leading chefs at the Sydney Seafood School. Three hour drive south of Sydney, celebrity chef Rick Stein has a restaurant at Bannisters by the Sea, which celebrates local seafood. Enjoy a delicious seafood meal at the Waterfront Restaurant. Bateman's Bay sits on the mouth of the River Clyde. Kayak through the pristine waters whilst learning about and eating some of the best and most sustainable oysters in Australia. You can do kayak tours and learn about oyster farming. Why not fish for your own barramundi, Spanish mackerel and longtail tuna? The famous wild barramundi at the Northern Territory comes into season between March and November. Then cook your fresh feast at Barramundi Lodge in Arnhem Land. Explore South Australia's stunning coastline and sampled the Air Peninsula seafood from Wyala to Streaky Bay. In Port Lincoln, Challenge yourself to eating a one kilogram oyster at Port Lincoln Hotel. For me, Coffin Bay is like a unique system of bays which hold their own treasure and, and seem to be kind of unique in the fact that Kingfish breed in here, snapper come in to breed, there's sea urchins, you know, there's always been a native oyster industry. What do people think of when they think of oysters? Do they think of an aphrodisiac? Yeah, of course they do. Do they think that it's a sexy, sultry type of seafood? Yeah, they think it's sexy and sultry. Does it actually have health benefits though? Yeah, the good thing is it actually does. Everyone can eat an oyster and be happy. There's nothing better when a couple driving through Coffin Bay come to the oyster shed and they sort of have a little bit of a sticky beak and just love oysters. They're actually fascinated about what we're doing. And hopefully I can impart a little bit of knowledge so that when they leave, you know, not only are they leaving with something that's been harvested that day, which is pretty rare, which is one of the special things about coming to Coffin Bay, and also a little bit of an appreciation of what we do and. Yeah, oysters and the environment go hand in hand. In Adelaide, dine at the best seafood restaurant Sammy's on the marina with expansive water view.
Tasmania is renowned for Pacific oysters, lobster, abalone and octopus. Luxury Lodge Sapphire Freysnet takes guests to Fresh Oyster Farm to enjoy straight from the sea oysters while standing in Tasmanian waters sipping champagne. My father first taught me how to fish. It's become a way of life that I can't get enough of. Every time I tie a fly, every time I make a cast, the river's always got a lesson to be learned. The possibilities for fly fishing on this island are endless. For me personally, my time on the water is all about dry fly fishing. Being able to sight my quarry, present to that fish my own creation, it's second to none. Part of the beauty of fishing in Tasmania is being able to pack the car and get away. I love finding a new stretch of river to explore and camping out under the stars. With the tranquility of these locations, it's not always about catching fish. At Joseph Cromie Winery near Launceston, you can try your hand at fly fishing in front of the cellar door restaurant. Take the seafood seduction boat tour around Bruni Island and enjoy rock lobster, abalone and sea urchin straight from the sea. Don't forget to take a drive through, get shucked. Yes, you heard that right. Bruni Island has its very own drive through oyster bar. Near Port Douglas, join Cuckoo Yolangi Cultural Habitat Tours to catch mud crabs and mussels on a spearfishing trip. Also sample olive tapenade glazed salmon, garlic prawn spaghetti or pansy at barramundi at Zinc Restaurant and Lounge Bar. When visiting Melbourne, seafood lovers should book in advance for Ocean to Plate Restaurant, The Atlantic. Near Perth, the Lobster Shack in Savants 
runs tours of its lobster processing facility along with lunches of freshly grilled lobster. Also, visit Geraldton for the best tasting tomatoes and possibly the most valuable single species of seafood in the whole of Australia, the Western Rock Lobster. Subscribe to the First Class Travel Channel or click on the link in the description below for more trip details.